and welcome. Thank you so much for watching. This show is all about giving you insights and showcasing brands that help you to live your best life and give you confidence. As always, I want to kickstart your morning with some motivational advice to help you to feel inspired and energized to start your day. Today, I want to talk about how the moment you come to the realization that the universe wants you to win, you become unstoppable. Many people have a preconceived notion that the world or society is plotting against them so that they can fail. According to the law of attraction, if that's what you believe, that will be the outcome. I'm here today to tell you that the universe wants to see you flourish and win. In fact, that's what you were put on this earth to do. When you truly understand that the universe is helping you win and creating opportunities for you, you become unstoppable because you are working with the most powerful energy source in the world. What can be more powerful than the universe? But how do we get the universe to work in our favor? The more we build momentum and proactively take action and keep working to make our dreams happen, the more the universe keeps opening doors to guide you to where you're meant to be. Of course, there will always be naysayers or barriers along the way. But when we are able to see past minor distractions and see that we have an unstoppable force like the universe working in our favor, we then begin to have no limits and truly become unstoppable. Remember, the entire universe is conspiring to give you everything you want. Stay tuned. Coming up after the break. You know, for me, I can totally see you doing a collab with Post Malone, but for you, who would be your ideal dream collab? Um, as of currently, I would really like to do a song with like either Lil Nas X Ooh, or yes. uh, Bella Port. She's a big uh, TikToker that just started doing music or like even Drake or Melanie Martinez. Like, as you can see, that list is all over the place. Mm -hmm. It's like, I'm just inspired by so many different sounds, but it's ironic you said Post Malone because uh, from last year to this year on Spotify and Pandora, I was like in the similar artist list with like Post Malone and Travis Scott, like other melodic artists. So this it's possible, you know. <laughs> Wardrobe provided by H&M. Next up on the show, we have up and coming American singer songwriter Azazis. In spite of the 2020 pandemic, Azazis hit the ground running when he released a rap single titled Only Fans, which achieved a list of viral popularity on the social media app TikTok. Show me how the hits gon' ride the beast. Say she tired of working now, believe. She want the silver, gold, and ivory. Making the movie, it's all exclusive. View it all privately. What's your subscribers fee? I know you ain't gonna buy for free. Azazis, thank you so much for being on the show today. How are you doing? I'm doing lovely. How are you doing? I'm doing amazing. <laughs> the weather is so nice outside and it's so good to finally meet you. So thank you for being right? on the show. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure. So obviously the one thing that stands out about you is your stage name, Azazis. So where did you get that from? Azazis? Uh, for starters, I wanted something that like represented my interpretation of mankind, which is like uh, you know, when we're born into this world, we don't really understand anything good or evil. So we're kind of ignorant of everything until we uh, become mature. And so I decided to go to an unorthodox place to get my name. I went to the Bible and I combined two uh, biblical entities to get my name. The beginning of the name is the fallen archangel Azazel. And uh, he represents like ignorance and mischief and all that. And the end of the name is Jesus. And I put Jesus at the end of the name because like I felt through time we become mature and you know we kind of understand everything around us, we become enlightened. So Azazel, Jesus, Azazel. Wow, that's that's very deep. Yeah. <laughs> Not what I was expecting. <laughs> very interesting. I thought you were gonna say something like a fun. Very cool, very cool. Um, when did you realize your passion for music? Uh well, I've always been surrounded by music since a kid, but like I started doing it professionally in 2016. Um, but just, you know, little, little experiences here and there. Like when I was 13, um, I got the opportunity to be a hype man for a record label audition. And that was my first direct experience, like being on stage. And I enjoyed that experience. And a few years later, I dabbled in like songwriting and then that progressed to like performing for my local middle school and high school. And then ended up on the radio and then fast forward full blown music career. So mm -hmm. yeah. And you mentioned you grew up with music. I know your father, Dennis Lee Walton Sr., um, was a uh, veteran as well as a gospel singer. So growing up in Alabama and being around gospel music, did that influence you at all? 
Uh, yes, but not in a way that you would expect. Um, my father didn't allow rap music or urban music in the house. He hated like that style of music. So it's kind of ironic. Like this is the style of music that like I kind of cater to the most. But uh, yeah, I mean, like it most definitely being around like gospel and soul. It, it taught me about you know uh, music that has like a purpose, music that uh that resonates with people and, and you know like what they spiritually go through. So like I still have like that aspect in my music, but you know just a different twist on it. Mm -hmm. And speaking about rap and hip hop music, I know your song OnlyFans became quite viral on TikTok. So let's talk about how mm -hmm. the popularity grew. Yeah, so uh, I'm not sure exactly when it really started happening, but like I, I noticed when I started like searching my song in the TikTok database, more and more girls worldwide was using the song and promotion with, uh, you know, their content and whatnot. And um, it just it, it started exploding during summer of 2020 and then it popped off even further when um a director by the name of uh john eagle he contacted me and was just like yo man like this song is like doing really good like let's shoot a music video for it and then that kind of progressed it and then you know mm -hmm. i watched the music video and i love that song it's actually it has a really unique beat i even sent it to our producer <laughs> i'm like you have to listen to this song and i sent him the link <laughs> And he loved it too. So it's, it's an amazing song. It has a unique style. And I want to talk about that for you. What is your musical yeah. style? How would you describe it for our viewers? Uh, Well, for starters, like usually when people ask about me, I don't even say that I'm a rapper. I like to say I'm a musical artist because like I don't feel my sound fits in any particular genre because like I mix so many elements. But uh, my musical style is mainly just me expressing my experiences, my memories. And I like to make it more cinematic by like throwing in uh, metaphors like from, you know, the horror film genre and the anime genre, because like those two things like really inspire me with like storytelling, especially anime, because like for those that don't understand anime, anime more or less tells the story of uh, of people that's like the underdog that become the heroes of like their own story. You know, like they finally realize that they are the main character in their life and they find their purpose and they, you know, basically triumph over all their adversities. And so uh, I kind of like write my music in that same format. I, I like to remind people that like, you know, this is your story and you don't have to wait for somebody to save you, become the hero of your own story, you know, so. And speaking of stories, I know that you also are a songwriter. So do you write yeah. your own music and, and do you have a creative process when doing that? I do write my own music. Um, more or less, majority of my uh, melodies and lines come from like just me being in the shower, and you know I think the most in the shower, and like I, I'll get like a random thought, and then I'll start like humming something, and then I'll grab my phone real quick and like record like a voice memo, even if it's only like two or four lines, and then like I'll sit on those lines for like maybe weeks or months until I finally find like a beat that resonates with that emotion because like I, I i gotta have that connection between the beat and the emotion that i'm saying in lines and sometimes those songs could take like forever to even develop you know like for example the only fan song uh that came to me during like the end of january beginning of february uh when i kept saying like cash apps and everything and everybody's bio at the beginning of the pandemic and then like a producer on soundcloud hit me up and um he was just like hey man like I like your style, like check out this beat. And um, this guy's way in Portugal, you know what I mean? Like I'm in the United States, he's way in Portugal. And so the beat fit with my lyrics. And I was like, you know, let's do it. <laughs> yeah, and that's the great thing about inspiration. It just comes from nowhere. Even for me, I write my intros of my show, the inspirational part. And yeah. you know, for me, when I, when I sit there and try to write something, it never comes to me. But all of a sudden I'll hear something or there's or maybe I'll watch a movie or I hear a, like a lyric in a song and I put it in my notes and that's the best way to do it. Put it in voice notes, write it down when you get that creative spark. You know, for me, I can totally see you doing a collab with Post Malone. But for you, who would be your yeah. ideal dream collab? Um, As of currently, I would really like to do a song with like either Lil Nas X Ooh, or yes. uh, Bella Port, she's a big uh, TikToker that just started doing music or like even Drake or Melanie Martinez. Like, as you can see, that list is all over the place. Mm -hmm. It's like 
I'm just inspired by so many different sounds, but it's ironic you said Post Malone because uh, from last year to this year on Spotify and Pandora, I was like in the similar artist list with like Post Malone and Travis Scott, like other melodic artists. So this it's possible, you know? <laughs> yeah, anything is possible. And now that you said it and you put it in the universe, it's going to happen yeah. because you put it out there. You spoke it into existence. So I'm, I'm sure that's going to happen. Let's talk about your current projects. What are you currently working on? I'm currently working on um, a new song titled On Red. That's uh, currently in the works of being shot, like a music video and whatnot. That's like a dark emo song, basically about like, uh, like kind of noticing the people that's just around just to be around, but they're not really appreciating you for you. They like the idea of you, but not really you. And so they're kind of dead to you. And so like, that's like a really dark emo horror movie type sound. Um, and aside from that, I uh, just wrapped up a music video with a uh, local business, The Hatchetberry and the Ronald McDonald House Charity. Uh, really, we released the song last month titled Best Damn Moment. And um, that song is just a pop song that we made advertising uh, the axe throwing sports uh genre type stuff like people to do axe throwing but we're using the proceeds from the song to donate to uh sick children and um everything with the ronald mcdonald house so yeah okay. that's great i like that you're you're giving back i think that's very very important and i think that also helps you spur to success because when you're when you have a purpose as well and you're using your platform to do good good things come to you so i think that's uh that's great that you're doing that you know our show is about inspiration and we always have, we have entrepreneurs, we have musicians, we have, have all kinds of people. So, you know, for, for musicians specifically that are up and coming, because you've done pretty well so far, what advice do you have for them to, you know, push through rejection? Because of course this industry has a ton of rejection and no's. So how do you push through it? Uh, I just remind myself that there's like billions of people on this earth. So there's going to be like a target audience for me and anybody else that wants to do this. You just got to keep sampling your music to everybody. You know what I'm saying? Like, just because like one or two, three, four, five, twenty 20 people may say no, you got to think about like the ratio of that. That's like a very small demographic of people compared to like all the people on this earth that's a music lover. You know, and even when it comes to like the industry itself, the industry is widely based on favoritism. You know what I mean? Um, so that's really discouraging in itself. But, you know, you just got to keep trying just because like one suit head says no, like doesn't mean that everybody you're going to talk to is going to say no with a business deal. So, yeah, that's, that's very true. I always remind yeah. myself that no means next opportunity. So anytime I receive a no, on to the next and eventually you will mm. get a yes and it only takes really one yes to skyrocket so yeah I, I exactly that's, that's great um where can people connect with you on social media and uh, listen to your music uh the easiest place they can find me is azazes.com um that way people ain't got to go out of their way to search anything like everything is right there for them but if people, you know, don't really like going to websites and whatnot, just search Azazis on Facebook and Instagram. Look for the blue check mark. That's the easiest way to find me. I'm uh, your TikTok husband on TikTok. And um, yeah, but Azazis.com is the easiest place to find everything in one spot. Nice. Look at you with the yeah. Azazis merch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> well, thank you so much for being on the show today. It's been a pleasure and we hope to have you back soon. Oh, for sure. It was a pleasure talking to you. Tag TV is available on Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Apple and Android TVs, as well as on Apple and Android phones. Watch us live through YouTube and Facebook.